Hi, hello. So this drawing was the first drawing that we have made yesterday. What is important here is that one makes a small sketch free. Just do not be worried much about the form or the perfection. Just do it. Just free the mind, free the artistic feeling. There are things that sometimes with an artistic feeling are better than with perfection. You see this curve here? I think this is perfect. Alright? This curve, it's exactly what is intended. A, a movement, a free of the movement. Of course, if we go to see anatomically the eagle, Perhaps it's not like this, but that does not matter. This is art, all right? We want to, to give an impression to the mind, an emotion to the mind. So, first thing is to make a sketch. Then, to start transforming the sketch into little squares, because, because each square is a knot. And so, by the alternance of the white squares that are a type of knot and the black squares that are another different type of knot, that's how we see the the project before we actually do the macrame. So this was the first phase of the project. Now I'm going to improve it place by place. So I begin by the eye and then next I'll go to the beak Next, I'll go to the wings, perhaps these three, three wings together. Because in here, there are imperfections. You see, this is one, two, three, four, and then I have here one, two, one, two, one, two, and one. And this one is quite different. It has only one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, one. So there is a considerable difference, and this is even more different. Is one, two, three, and then one, two. So, I have to improve this in a second passage. But don't think that you can make it perfect by the first passage. Because if I am thinking too much of the, 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 the mathematicals be, behind the squares, I will lose my artistic, my artistic feeling. Okay, so I've made this because I feel it like this. I made this one different because I felt it like this. And this is the same thing. Take a good look. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, one, two, one, 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 two. So now I have to improve all this to a coherence. All right. But when I did it, I did it like this. And this one, take a good look how different it is. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is almost the opposite of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and this is the opposite. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what, which one is better? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Perhaps for some persons, this one is better. Perhaps for another person, this one is better. And perhaps for even other persons, this will need to be improved. All right. And this one, I have used one, two, three, four, one, two. So these are completely different designs and if in the first sketch I am too much worrying making this one exactly like this one or like this one then we will lose the artistic quality. Actually artistic things they have a quality, a spontaneous quality and that passes. I don't know, there is, there is some mystery around this because when people see it they see it as an impression, an impression of something, all right, an emotion of something. But after this one is made, now it's the time for improving. So let's find it out. Now, as you can see here, I have here, this is the eye as I have made in the first drawing. Then I try to improve it.
So this was how it was made, spontaneously. Actually, it is extremely good. I like this design a lot. I think that this two three one two three comes along with this one two three. This up and this down, perfect. And this one is very close to the real eye, but actually it is interesting. And then these two slightly, this one is in the same direction of this one, but then one to the one side and one to the other side. I think that this eye has a huge perfection. So I have tried to improve it, making it the real eye more round, more to see it more. But I don't know. I don't know if it, it if if this is better than that one. I really don't know. You will decide because there are so many ways to do it, right? One black here or one white makes a huge difference. One white here or one black makes a huge difference. One more or or one less or one more black here. I mean, even we can put here another black and another black, or even here. Who knows? So. This this second part actually it is very interesting. Now it's playing with the mind. So in here we have the analytic. No, I'm sorry. In here we have the first the first uh, sketch that was with a feeling. It was spontaneously. I start putting in. It, it was like this. But here I have the mind working on it. It is better. I I don't know. Take a good look at this one. This one tries. This one, it seems too much black in here, right? I think there is a much concentration of black, black uh, squares in here. So I've tried to make it less, but I don't know. It has no expression. For me, it has no expression. Although I like this tree here and this this tree here, but or I don't know. There's something missing in here, right? Then I try to put the inner eye bigger and make a bigger design this is not bad actually this is not bad but perhaps this square is not well here it was better here i think i think i i made a mistake to put it here i think that this this must be a white square and here a, a black square but well <laughs> you are free to make to make it and to adapt it to your to your uh, to your taste to your artistic feeling to your wisdom actually this is just examples of uh, what i have done but there are so many more right now this one i think it is the best achievement that i have made in this eye because this eye is very near the first eye very near but there are a small differences. It has one more black square here. And that makes a huge difference. And in here instead of two, it has another black square. So from the other first spontaneously original made, I have had one black square here and one black square here and one black square in here. And by that, it makes a huge difference. If you take a good look, so I put one black here, one black here, and one black here, and gives this amazing design. I think that this design is very interesting. Now this one, well, I don't know. I have tried to make a curve like this, you know, the upper curve, but I don't know if it is if it is really good because I think that this one is as a certain imbalance. You can see this one. These two go with these two, and these two go with these three. Although these are three and these are two, but they are in the same, in the same connection. And these two go with these two, and this one go with with this one. And this, of course, is the center. Around everything turns. So I think that this is the way one should see these eye things. This is the center, and then we have harmonies that have to be placed around. To make a beautiful design and that is why this i think that it is in balance why because in this this square it has no balance here i think this is completely out of balance but if i make it this four it's too much also 
So I've tried to make a curve like this, but perhaps a square in here. And then another in here. I don't know. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Or just one here and one here. And here. So one, two, three. And not this one. I don't know. You can try it. I don't know. So I think this is the worst design I have here. Well, this is also in the same more or less unbalanced design. Although this one balances very well with this one. But perhaps in here there is too much white, right? So these two, they should be here and then this one should be here, I think. And this one, this one perhaps is interesting to make a, a small down and then an up. If you see, it's the same concept I try to use here. I, I try to use here a curve and then a curve. And in here I've tried to do this and do this. It's almost more or less the same. But it is quite different. In here I've tried to do one curve here and this curve to, to match this one and then to put it here. But, well, I don't know. I think it's more confusing. Now this one on the other side is very good. I like it very much. If you see, this one is almost as this one. The only difference is that this white, this black black square or this black knot here is in white. And here I have only two black knots and here I have three black knots. And in here I have two black knots, two black knots, and in here I have three black knots, but I have passed this black knot to up. So I have made two here and then this up. And in this part that I have here also one, two, three black knots, I have, I have, I have here only two. I could, ha I could put here one black. I think that uh, it is possible following what I've tried to done here with these ones and here and here. So as you can see there are so many infinite possibilities here because one square more or one square less makes a total different eye design. Now finally I would like to talk about this little one. This little one as you can see it has half a square. That's why I, I have made this in red for us to properly see. This is just half knot. I don't know if this is possible to do in macrame. Because in macrame we have a knot of one type and a knot of a different type. So with these two we can make many combinations. But actually we don't have smooth curves, right? We have this always like this. It's too sharp. It's too sharp, right? We have sharp lines, 90 degrees sharp lines. And if we could have a technique that allow us to have half a knot of one color and half a knot of the other color, then we could make smooth, smooth lines, smooth designs, right? Take a good look. This one here is only half. So, these ones, I have one knot distance, and if I put here in one, another one, it is too far away from the eye. But in here, I have cut the, the knot, because one square is one knot, in half. It is possible to do half a knot of one color and half of the other color? I don't know. I, I do not recall any technique that allows one to do this, but I will try it. That is why macrame is so much interesting. We can try. This is a challenge. Not only for me, but for all YouTuber macrame artists. So it's, it's an appeal I made. Please, let's work with all our intelligence combined and let's try to give macrame a knot, a type of knot that can make half one, one, one color and half another color. And with that we could make much better 
drawings, right? Because with this technique, we can do all drawings we want, but with this one, they will be more perfect, much more perfect. And that's all. So I think I'm going to choose this one for making our ego. From so this is the, the the way I work. I work by testing possibilities. That that is exactly what I made in all all macrame works that I do. I test possibilities, and from all these possibilities, the one I'm going to use is is this one. I think this one is 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 perfect for for my my feeling, my understanding. This one is perfect. So I'm going to use this, but all the others they are all good. They are all good. So thank you for watching. See you next time. And bye and have fun.